when I first found out I couldn't believe it. Is this really the end of Swarovski crystals for DIY and retail segments? Unfortunately, it's true and we will talk more about it today. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Daniela and today we will talk about Swarovski elements. Unfortunately, we will talk about the fact that some of them will no longer be produced and the rest of them will not be available for retail sales. Uh, when I first found out, I thought it was a bad joke. So I started searching the internet and it didn't take me much work and I found out that it's really true. Uh, if you are asking what's going on, uh, I started to do a little bit of digging about what is happening and I found out that Swarovski decided to change its business strategy. They announced in August 2020 that they were going to reorganize uh, the Swarovski company. And this year, they will stop distributing loose components, crystals, and beads for retail sales. That includes Rivoli's, flat bags, rhinestones, hotfix stones, beads, components, just all of their elements. They will focus on their own production of design on jewelry for their boutiques, uh, their high-end products, and collaboration with fashion brands. Uh, so they are not completely discontinuing crystal elements, uh, they will still exist, but they are going to start limiting who actually has access to them. Who is going to be able to distribute their elements is probably a very small list. Uh, it looks like they are trying to increase the exclusivity of their brand. There will be a reduction of Swarovski on the market. From the 1st of October 2021, only selected distributors will be able to sell Swarovski elements and anyone wishing to buy from these distributors will have to sign a brand control agreement uh, directly with Swarovski and be pre-approved before that distributors are able to sell to them. And another change is that all customers must accept that the purchase of Swarovski crystal components does not entitle the customer to use the Swarovski key brand. Uh, in practice, uh, this will mean that, for example, customers will not be able to indicate that their products are embellished with crystals from Swarovski when selling finished products with Swarovski crystals to consumers. Nor can they use a geographic designation, for example, only made in Austria. Furthermore, the ability to purchase loose branded Swarovski crystals will be restricted to end users only. This means uh, those who produce the finished product. Reselling crystals will not be possible. Swarovski does all this because they want to protect the individual character of their brand. There's a lot of information that's still up in the air. Uh, they are still silent about it on their official website. I tried emailing them to see if they would provide any more information, but it's been a few months and they still haven't replied. So all the information I have on this usually comes from their official distributors in various countries. Uh, if you want to read some articles uh, from which I drew information, you can find links in the description of the video down below. I found out that e-shops that cooperate with the Swarovski brand uh, were able to order these products for the last time on uh, May the 31st this year. Uh, so if you still want, order as soon as possible because stocks are likely to dwindle quickly. Uh, there are big sales on Swarovski components everywhere now because retailers will no longer be able to sell them after October the 1st, 2021. Uh, this change in strategy will affect all stores that sell loose Swarovski components worldwide. Uh, so you won't buy them anywhere else. I think it's a great pity because their crystals uh, have a wonderful shine, precise grinding and irresistible colors. They were able to brighten our jewelry, clothes and eyes. Uh, they are synonymous with elegance and top quality. Uh, so the question arises as to how to replace these crystals. Uh, Swarovski is top of the line, so it will be hard to find a replacement, especially in terms of quality and variety of range. But Preciosa is stepping up and developing new colors and new products. Uh, I personally will be using Preciosa as a replacement 
actually replacement is probably not the right word a uh, better term is alternative because i love um, preciosa products and i've been using their crystals and other products pretty much since i started making jewelry um, i think the cut of the swarovski crystals is better uh, but I think you can't tell unless you examine them side by side in detail. Swarovski has so many cuts which make it shine, reflect light and sparkle beautifully. Uh, but Preciosa is very, very good as well and it's cheaper. In some of the future videos I will show you a comparison of these two brands and maybe you won't be so much disappointed that Swarovski is done with their elements because you will see that Preciosa is capable of competing. At least there is something a little positive about such bad news. So I will see you in one of the next videos. Don't forget to buy Swarovski elements, make a good stock and take advantage of the last opportunities to buy them. As a reminder, as of October the 1st of this year, this will no longer be possible. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also uh, check out my Instagram where you'll find a lot of content you won't see here on YouTube. And if you want to support me, check out my PayPal me and Patreon as well. Uh, you can find the links in the description down below. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye!